Hello, how are you and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Real Life Abroad and my name is Sami Kamau. Whoa, it's been quite long since we posted a video on this channel and I know most of you have been wondering, what's up? What happened to these guys? <laughs> Wow, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a while. People have been uh, sending us messages asking where did you guys go? And um, you know, now that we are in the festive seasons, uh, you know, it's good to, you know, to check on others. It's good to know how they are doing. So we really thank you guys for, you know, for those who are following us. So, you know, it's been, uh, you know, it's been a quite a, you know, a very busy period of uh, time, especially for me. I've been so busy. Um, I've been, uh, you know, I've been quite busy and I'm going to explain that in a video. And uh, but before we jump into that, allow me to take this moment and opportunity to thank you guys uh, for those, especially for those who've been following us, for those who've been sending us messages, for those who've been watching our videos. We have so, so many new subscribers still coming into our YouTube channel, even though we have not been posting. So that means that our content is still going up and up and uh, a lot of people have been following us. A lot of people have been sending us messages. Um, apparently, we think that um, every person who come across our videos, they see it well, you know, especially for those people who are aspiring to go, you know, to study or to work or to live abroad. They really want to know what's happening out there. And, um, you know, the information that we normally pass here, it's meant to, to prepare someone. It's meant to, to help you to know, you know, what am I going, you know, what am I expecting? What am I going to see? What are, you know, wh what is life out there you know what does life look like you know out there and uh that's that's what we normally you know talk about in this channel so for the new subscribers this is real life abroad my name is sam and um, i'm not alone in this channel we normally you know <laughs> come to this channel me and my wife uh and uh at some times or at some point the time uh we are so busy that we cannot make to be together on the video and uh yeah you know because life sometimes is so busy and uh people have been asking me where have you you know where have you guys been and uh i'm just gonna recap and tell you what has been happening for the last one month actually it's uh about a month and a half um i've not been posting videos and um this is the reason uh i've been studying most of you know that i'm a student and uh, i'm studying and um you know i'm doing nursing you know and uh, part of the course or the requirement part of the requirement uh, course requirement is for you to go uh, on a work placement where you go and exercise or do some things that you've been studying in school and now you do them practically you know it's like a practical but then this period of time you're not working in a you know school practicals you're doing you're not doing in a you know in a rub you know in a laboratory or something you're going to do it hands on the you know an experience or hands on the placement now you're going to work in the hospital setting so nursing so you you have to you know to connect that you have to go and work in the you know in the hospital settings and uh, that is what has been happening i've been so busy because i've been in the hospital <laughs> i've been you know experiencing a lot in the hospital i've been doing uh, what i've been studying so you know experience part of the experience or part of the course uh, requirement that is what i've been doing and uh, on the other hand i have a job to do i you know i you know i sacrifice Actually, uh, I wanna I wanna you know emphasize this for those who are thinking about jumping into nursing. Um, for me, I don't know if that's the case for everyone, but you find that when you're going to work, you have to do a whole shift. You know, you have to do it's like a whole shift, and it, that's about uh, eight hours. So I was doing eight hours from morning to afternoon, or maybe from seven o'clock to three p.m., and uh, and that is unpaid. Remember that. So. <laughs> that is unpaid nobody pays you for that and uh, after that i have to connect with my job i have to go to my work because i need to keep um, i need upkeep i need to look after my family i need to look after myself so you have to connect that and um you know that will be another video because um i need to to make that one clear i need to enlighten someone i need to teach you on that because i thought oh this is tricky i did i wasn't prepared for that I, I didn't see that coming so i think i need to do another full video for that so that is what kept me so so busy 
and uh you know with that with life so being so busy i was unable to you know to keep up with the demand on the youtube you know i was not unable to keep up with the you know posting and making videos editing and posting but then i have a full month break so during this um one month i'm gonna make a lot of videos i'm gonna upload i'm gonna answer to question and i'm gonna answer to queries that most of you have been asking i'm gonna come back you know with the good news because we have so so many good news and by the way this is what most of you have been asking. Australian borders are now open and they are open for people who are fully vaccinated. During back then, some few months ago, we were telling people it's the high chance or it's the high time for you to do your process. You know why? Because when you do your process and you get your visa granted, when the borders are open, you will be able to travel to Australia. So most of them, uh, most of you, you know, took it so lightly, but some of you took it, um, you know, uh, and they took it with their... Um, you know with the seriousness and they started the process some of you already got the visas and some of you are already traveling so i'm happy and i can't wait to i uh, can't wait to meet people who started watching my youtube channel back in kenya back in their country back in nigeria back in west africa and now they're in australia they're achieving or they are following their dream or they are pursuing their dreams so i can't wait for that so that is what i was telling you guys and is it uh, too late to to start your process no if you want to come, especially if you want to come as a student, it is not too late at all. You can still do your process and you can still come to Australia because I'm not 100% sure that the borders will remain open for, you know, long enough. But with the projection, they might keep the borders open because Australia, they are on the journey to recover the economy. And international students happen to be one of the backbone to the Australian economy. So they make a lot of money from people coming to Australia to study. So they are going to allow a lot of international students to come to Australia so that they can continue making money or they can continue, you know, improving or, in, you know, working on the economy. So you can relate to that. So they are not going to take chances for people not to come. If you want to come to Australia, then this is a high time because they are, they are going to be lenient. You know, they are not going to be so hard on people. They are going to be, you know, somehow, you know, lenient. But then they, you have to meet the standard. There are those standards that you have to meet. And that is what you work it out with your agent. The agent will help you to put up all that. I'm not going to, you know, to that. But then it is part of the plan for me to come uh, with the agent and, uh, you know, make another video, uh, maybe make another live stream, uh, try to dig into deep because a lot of people have been asking a lot of questions and uh, some of the questions I realized, oh, I can't answer this. I need to, you know, I, think I need to forward this to the agent. If you have not watched that video, we have done a video with the agent and we are going to do another video. So you can go back, refer to that video. Maybe some of the questions you have, I answered in that video but then uh on uh, on the you know sometimes to come we're gonna make another video and we hope and i hope that you're gonna get some more information and people will continue you know coming to to australia they will continue you know getting or achieving their dreams and um people who come from west africa this uh the agent that i work with he got a lot of offices especially in nigeria hey nigerians why are you not coming no why are you not coming to Australia, oh, eh? Nigerians? This is the high time you can come to Australia to study. And West Africans as well. And Kenyans. Kenyans, hey, you're letting me down. I'm waiting for you here. I want to see you here. So it's a high time that you guys can, you know, try and do your own process or do your process to come to Australia. And it's my hope that when you do your process, you're going to get the visa. It's the Christmas period and uh, we are in the festive seasons. Today is 23rd of uh december 2021 what do i do or uh, i mean uh how do i wish for all of you guys i've made this video specifically to wish all of you a merry 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 christmas from real life abroad and uh, a very very happy and a prosperous new year uh, of course i'm gonna continue making some more content in between i'm gonna try to make several other content in between but for any reason if i don't i want to take this opportunity to wish you all the best and remember christ is the reason for the season if you don't believe in jesus christ we are celebrating the birth of jesus christ so christ is the reason for the season remember that i hope jesus christ will be born uh, in your heart 
and uh, you will experience the goodies in the kingdom of God. And again, um, for the new year, I want to take the opportunity to wish you the best, good health, prosperity, love, you know, every other good thing, favor that comes in. I want to wish you the best uh, and uh, successful 2022 as we approach it and uh, the goodies, <laughs> all the goodies. That's what I'm going to wish you. So I hope you're going to wish the same back to us and uh, we can't wait to, you know, to get. As we wind this video, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you, you know, if you can be able to forward it to your friend, if you can be able to forward it to WhatsApp, to, you know, to, to your social media pages, you're more than welcome to do so. So we are so, so much thankful from here, Real Life Abroad. And I know most of you are asking, where is Grace? Where is the mama of the mama of the channel? She's somewhere because, you know, I told you uh, sometimes life is so busy now that you have to part ways and work. You know, she's working, she's, you know, she's doing that. And I'm here working, doing my own things. But at the end of the day, we're going to meet in the house. We're going we're gonna to be together. So for those who are asking where she is, she's good she's cool i just talked to her sometimes back and uh next video i will endeavor to make sure that we are together and i'll continue making more content so until we meet again hope you have a nice time and i'll see you next time thank you so much